I'm the author of Stilettos and Steel, and I'm so honored to be here today with a fellow writer that most of you are probably much more acquainted with than you certainly are me or my book. So can you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your novel? Sure. Uh, I'm Amber Benson, and uh, my book is called Serpent Storm. It's part of a, a trilogy. Um, uh, it's like urban fantasy kind of chiclet fun stuff. I think I think yours is a little more dark and noir and mine's like super fluffy and light. So I think we're a good combo here. Yeah. You get you get the intensity and then the like Wah! over here on the side. <laughs> you know, I, I love that this chiclet. My uh, protagonist happens to be a woman, but uh, she is a gangster. But I did <laughs> yes. use a lot of humor and made it historically correct from 1969. In but San there Francisco, are in right? San Francisco, the yes, the Tenderloin District, which is notoriously dangerous. But in the 60s, it was actually glamorous because we didn't have homeless then. <laughs> they were a souvenir from the 80s. So um, anyhow, it's gritty, but it's also fun. And I loved you too when you were in your series. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Oh, sure. Um, well, I'm, I'm, my claim to fame is that I played a lesbian witch on the TV show Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> That's how people know me these days. Um, so <laughs> but, uh, but I sort of segued into the writing because I can do that in my pajamas. Yes. Nobody bothers you. You can sit in front of your computer like this all day. Whereas as an actor, you sort of have to doll yourself up to look quasi-decent to get a job. That's so funny. <laughs> What's so hysterical about my book is there are actual real lesbians in it. Please don't be offended. It's not the L word. <laughs> and I think that people are so tired of you know, pseudo lesbians. It's like uh, two girly girls from Anaheim Hills on steroids. So my novel is not a gay novel, but it does take place in the gay ghetto, which is very historically significant. And uh, it is a little edgy. Edgy's good. <laughs> edgy's good, but it's filled with humor, and underneath is a beautiful love story. Because what's a noir book without a little romance? That's right. And you got you got to have your uh, your uh, sort of your vixen, and you got to have your your sort of um, your hero protagonist, which I, I hear you have in your book. We're gonna we're gonna exchange books when this is all. I over. cannot wait to read her book. My protagonist is often related to as the girl in the dragon tattoo, Lisbeth. Oh, but awesome. there's she's offbeat. They're both more marvelous they're both defiant but my protagonist is 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 different in, in some unique aspects which you'll find out when you read stilettos and still well we have a crowd here which is a quality problem for authors <laughs> and i'm so thrilled that you shared this interview with us oh, I'm and so tell excited. them once in the aim again the name of your novel oh it's called serpent storm and i'm just excited that jerry and i get to, to do the signing together it's more fun to do it together I'm thrilled to be with an author, and uh, I love the title, absolutely love the title, and can't wait to read it. So thank you, and uh, nice to chat with you. This is the first person to sign today.